Now, days after its Kursk invasion that took Russia by surprise and prompted a massive retaliatory strike by the Kremlin, the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he is ready to talk peace. He is headed to the United States to meet President Biden and his two potential successors with a victory plan, one that will allow for a possible de-escalation. But is Ukraine in a position of strength to bargain? More in our next report. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky revealed on Tuesday he has a plan he wants to present to U.S. President Joe Biden, which he believes will end the war with Russia. One part of the plan that is already performed is in the Kursk region. The second part is Ukraine's strategic place in the world's security infrastructure. The third part is a pressure package, a powerful package to force Russia to end the war diplomatically. The fourth part is economic. He said it would eventually end in dialogue, but that Kyiv had to be in a strong position. There was no indication of what the next steps would be, but he said he was hoping to attend the UN General Assembly in New York in September and that he was preparing to meet Biden. The comments come as several people are dead and multiple injured after Russia continued major missile and drone attacks across Ukraine regions for a second day, officials said on Tuesday. Two people were killed when this hotel was hit by a missile in the central city of Krivi Ria. Just the frame of the building remained as rescuers combed through the rubble. In the southeastern city of Zaporizhia, three died in a drone attack, with three others injured in the region. The strike comes a day after Russia pummeled Ukrainian energy infrastructure with more than 200 missiles and drones on Monday in its biggest air attack of the war. While Tuesday's barrage was smaller, in the capital Kyiv, the military administration said air defences shot down all incoming targets aimed at the city. Zelensky said on Tuesday that Kyiv would retaliate against Russia for its strikes. He asked allies to consider joint air defence operations and provide long-range capabilities. The Russian Defence Ministry said forces had carried out a high-precision weapon strike on Ukraine overnight, the Interfax news agency reported. Moscow denies targeting civilians since launching a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, although thousands have been killed. Several Russian military bloggers said Moscow's attacks were an act of retaliation for Ukraine's surprise incursion into Russia's western Kursk region, the first such action since... For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.